Hello, everybody. This is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'll be showing you three Morgan dollars that I received from a dealer down in Florida. Uh, one of them came back, uh, in my opinion, cleaned. And uh, I just want to show you guys what uh, I view as cleaned and what would be held back from getting a straight grade at PCGS or NGC. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey everybody, this is Drew. I wanted to show you guys a few coins today uh, that kind of caught my eye. Uh, these coins I just received from uh, a dealer in Florida, I believe. Um, and I wanted to just take you through my process and what I've kind of seen with these three coins and if they impact your coins for a submission. So the primary uh, coins I submit normally is kind of Morgan dollars and not really much past that. I showed you guys a few things a few uh, days ago, but uh, I wanted to show you guys some more things that I got in, and I wanted to show you why I'm returning one of the coins. So, let's start off with the first one. This is an 1881S, Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, it's got really, really nice color, and we're going to kind of go through these three coins together, and you're going to tell me exactly uh, what kind of coin you think um, has been cleaned or not been cleaned. Um, so this coin's really, really beautiful. It uh, was sent to me by them. Uh, it sticks out to me, and most of my customers would enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna keep turning it for you guys to see, and then I'll, at the end I'll show you which coin I believe has been cleaned. So try to pick up on what you see. Um, I'm gonna try to show off as much as I can of the surfaces of this coin uh, on both sides. Uh, as you can see on the reverse, it's pretty clean, not much uh, issues on it, uh, almost like a scratch-free surface, you know. Um, strikes a little weak, but uh, very, very nice reverse on this coin. I'll show you a number two. This one is really amazing. I really like this coin. Um, this coin uh, is that terminal feel to it, but also has like a proof like feel as well you can just see the luster booming off the coin you don't see that too often um, a lot of them already been in holders and already have their true use or they've been to NGC and have been submitted this coin is really nice I really like the toning on this coin um, there's not too many issues with it um, from what I could see but I will let you be uh, the person who uh, determines that and when you flip it over, the reverse is nice once again. Uh, I can't complain about the reverse. Uh, you kind of see a weak strike kind of, there's a glare on the high points. Uh, maybe because the planche didn't kind of hit all the way onto this coin. Um, but it's a beautiful coin. Uh, I'm going to just show you one more time this really, really nice piece. Just amazing luster on it. Wow. I'll show you the third coin today. Here's the third coin. All these kind of all these coins have different color progressions on them. You can see this green and blue and uh, purple. Uh, this coin's really nice too. I enjoy it. Um, I don't know. This something on this coin, which you probably already see, is just something uh, you don't really see every day. Which kind of gave me, uh, I don't know, a red flag. Which I guess I'm revealing my hand too early on this coin. Uh, this coin right here, you flip it over the reverse. Um, you're kind of seeing a little bit of a shadow here of something. Um, uh, the, I have some theories about this coin. Um, the other two coins, I'm just going to let the bag, <laughs> let, let it out of the bag. I think this coin is a problem coin. Uh, I'm returning this coin in particular because I have seen a few issues with it. So let me zoom in and show you guys. So as you can see right, uh, well, you can see right where the uh, the neck meets the face, there's almost like a brush mark with this coin. I think it's been tooled or messed with in some capacity, um, and uh, I think there's a reason for that. Um, when you see 
And I also see something that's really uh, bad about the coin when you just see it face value without even looking at it closely. You see this brown, brown uh, kind of staining almost on the coin. And you also see these halos around the stars. That's a telltale sign there's an issue with the coin. Uh, a chemical, I believe, was used, maybe an acid, um, to try to remove the, the toning on this coin. Um, and I think they put it on that half and on the face and they realized that they ruined the coin. And their way to make up for it was to start where the toning was and move into where the toning was completely taken off with the top layer of the coin. Uh, so they started brushing it or tooling it and they're like, okay, we should just stop screwing with this coin. And uh, it, when you see the halos around the like halo around here, you can kind of see where the chemical bled in and where the chemical stopped. So you can kind of see like the, this blast white uh, start to come back because the chemical didn't reach all the way over there. I think someone might have Q-tipped it and uh, taken off the finish, taken off the top layer. And with most of these uh, coins, when the luster leaves the face like this and the rest of the coin is BU, uh, that's, that's a pretty uh, telltale sign that something was used um, to remove that luster. Uh, the luster's gone almost completely over here. It's almost like, yeah, I mean, the acid, I think, took that away. Um, and I, I was watching a video by Coin Help You. Um, we could just put up a better example here. But you can kind of see um, the luster is on every bit of this coin completely. So you see the fields have luster, the face has luster, um, and it's all the way throughout. And the details are mint state. And when you flip it over, it's the same way over here. And you can see um, how nice the coin is. You can see that the fields are uninterrupted. Um, but if we go back to the other coin, you can see when you start to cartwheel it, the fields are being interrupted. The luster is not moving all the way throughout it like a cartwheel should. Um, as soon as the light hits this over here, it just becomes one lit area. It doesn't have like a cartwheel to it at all. And another thing that kind of ear, uh, that kind of caught me off guard um, was more tooling. Kind of I don't know if that's tooling or what's going on right here. Um, below the A. That might just be something with the van. I'm not too sure. But it completely removed this this detail on these uh, on these feathers here. Um, and what also caught me off guard too is this kind of like someone dipped it or something. When I put it in the light like this you can kind of see like this haziness all the way around the coin around the stars. I think some type of chemical was used also on the reverse of this coin. And it strips some of the luster from it, but I think that you know, the coin's still intact enough to be uh, to pass, uh, I think, at NGC or PCGS, just the reverse side. But the obverse, I think, definitely will send this into um, a different grade. I think it'll be a details grade, um, cleaned. And, um, and we also, my brother said, I also just kind of questioned this color that's going throughout the coin. Um, Maybe at, I don't know, maybe at a certain point, uh, it was, I don't know, that's the thing about a coin. Once you see something of an issue of it, you're saying, well, how many issues led up to uh, this being revealed? So you could see the tooling, you could see the acid, and then now this, this color for me is a little bit, I think, questionable. Um, and But I'll, I'll link uh, something below for you guys to take a look at for color progression. Um, and these are just a few things that I've noticed about this coin in particular. Um, and if we bring back, say, this coin as well, um, this coin for me was also giving me issues in terms of its confidence. Um, there's a lot of polish lines on it, which is not the problem. The main problem I was seeing was kind of the haloing around uh, these stars. And that's not a problem. I think with this coin, I think someone just kind of fingered it and touched it a whole bunch around here. I don't see the luster. I see the cartwheel continuing to be moved through the coin all the way. Um, so this one I didn't return. I'm going to take a risk on and see what happens. It's more of a learning curve for me. That's yeah, a nice coin. Um, I'd like to see what, what happened with it. Um, but 
Uh, overall, guys, I wanted to just show you these three uh, Morgan dollars, and I wanted to get your opinion. Um, do you agree with the cleaning? Um, did you learn something today about um, Morgan dollars and just something that you can pick up and see on a daily basis uh, when going to shows or when maybe even buying a collection uh, from somebody else one day? Um, you can just tell them, hey, I've seen this, it's been cleaned, or it hasn't been cleaned. Um, guys, just, just leave your comments below if you agree with me um, with that coin, and if you see any issues on any of the other coins. I'm always open to uh, other people's opinions and what you guys think of this stuff. So uh, I really appreciate you guys taking a look at Threes, Three Morgan Dollars. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did learn something, please leave a like. Um, and if you want to watch more videos of mine, make sure to subscribe. I try to upload three times a week and uh, I just want to keep creating great content for you guys. So I hope you have a great rest of your week.